Welcome to my channel, Planet Maserati. I'm going to be showing you a Dollar Tree haul of books. I showed it into the Dollar Tree haul, but I want to get into more of the books. Um, so yeah, so let's begin. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Well, everybody welcome. If everyone can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that come up. Um, I post regularly, like Monday through Sunday. Sometimes you'll get one video to six videos. Six is a real struggle, but I still get them out. Again, and that's a day. So thank you for watching, and let's start. The first one I was, well, all three of these books I was shocked, but this one here really shocked me. Like, this is the Disney Alice Through the Looking Glass, and look at the cover. Look at the beautiful cover. Like, I said this in the video for the Dollar Tree haul, but look at this cover. This cover is gorgeous. This is everything. You have silver foiling going on. You have, like, a photo picture going on. Gorgeous spine. It's simple. Black and silver looks so good together. I thought black and gold looks good, but black and silver just, boom, pops out. And then not only do you have, like, the photograph-looking front, you have, like, a glossy, I would say a sticker back, but it's, like, it feels like a photograph. Um, they did cover up the, I guess, the UPC from the original, but it says Disney Press, Walt Disney Pictures. So this is the real Disney book. Like, it don't get no better than that. This is a gorgeous book. Look at how the book is just all black here. I mean, if you write in your books, if you're going to keep your book for a long time and write in it, I would use a white pen, a gel pen, or some type. But look at the cover, the inside cover of this. Disney Alice Through the Looking Glass. And I want to say this is Alice in the Wonderland, I think. That's how I took the story as. I haven't read it yet. But it's, again, Disney. So it tells you who everything is. They have the copyright information. Certified sourcing. This label applies to tech stock. You have your prologue. Which starts in 1868. Straight of Mal Malacca. I have no idea, and I'm going to butcher it. But look at this. Look how it starts. I love the font they used. The font is very pretty. And then look at the fonts up here. I love... It's like an... E it looks like it's going to be a very easy read. The book paper is a little choppy to me. But I think it's meant to be that way. And I've noticed a lot of books are like this. Like the choppy look. Which I still like. The fill of the paper, uh, not so much. Like I don't really like the fill of the paper. It's like that chalkboard fill. I don't know why. But yeah, so it's got the numbers in very cute text. You can tell it's a brand new book by that. I love when the pages sell in crisp too. But this is a really nice book. I was totally shocked... Another YouTuber did this video of the Dollar Tree books <coughs> in their haul. I don't think they did a separate video. I'm not sure. I don't want to quote that. But when I seen this, and I'm like, wait a minute. That's a Disney book. And look at how gorgeous that is. I went to Dollar Tree, and I was, like, shocked when I seen it. Like, I couldn't believe they actually had this type of book. I looked online and the prices were like $9.95 and up to be shipped. And I don't even know if that was new because when I seen $9.95, I was like, I got mine for a dollar. So yeah, so oh, I'm sorry. Over here flipping and lost the pages. But yeah, so this is a gorgeous, like, look at this book. It is so gorgeous. I love the illustrations in here. It is so, like, fun, but yet cute. You could probably even color it, but I wouldn't do that, because I love black and white. 
together black and white is a very nice color. Look at that. Like, that is super cute, and there's no writing. It's just the cat. I love that. And then it's like everyone has, like, a little time clock kind of look, which is cute as well. Let's see? Like, let me show you this page. Look at how cute. And then look at how easy read this is. This is going to be a book that I'm going to read quickly. As long as I get, you know, something out of it. Like, I don't sleep, then that means it's a good book. But no, I sleep to all the books. That's just me. But this is a very nice... It looks well written. Like, this is gorgeous. Look at that illustration. That's a lot of work someone drew. Wow. Um... It has the cute little ending, the end. So I know there's other books. To I think this... Because this should be the Alice in Wonderland series, I think, right? I could be mistaken. Leave a comment below if that's the case. But yeah, I love this book. This is one very cute book. So this is going to be my April read. So what I'm going to name this is the Dollar Tree haul, but this is going to be one of my April reads. You may see this again when I do the April reads um, video. So don't be like, why are you filming it three times? It's because I'm doing the haul, the Dollar Tree, showing you books from the Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to do my April reads. Once I get my April reads set up, because I'm waiting on two books, but I want to do it before then, if those books take too long. So yeah, so that's one of them. The next book is by the Holy, His Holiness is the Dalai Lama, Archbishop, and Desmond Tutu with Douglas Abrams, the Book of Joy Journal. And I found this on Amazon as well. And I was shocked. They have a bunch of different books with the joy, with their journaling I'm going to move this out of the way so it's not distract, distract, like distracting me. So this is the Book of Joy Journal, a 365-day companion. And then this is a very cute book as well. Spine is very nicely done. It does have, and I didn't notice this when I was doing the video. See, that's why I do separate videos. Sometimes, because there's things that I don't even notice. And I didn't even notice it has its own ribbon in blue. Like, I never knew that. Like, when I was looking at the video, well, not looking at the video, I'm sorry, filming the video, I didn't know it had its ribbon. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just so glad to get the book. These are very expensive books. This one here is $17. And I only paid $1. I cannot beat it. And to get your collection of books from Dollar Tree, that's a great deal. Like, you cannot beat that. Man, what did I do? Just cut my hand? I feel like I did. So then you have the teal color, which is very gorgeous. I love teal. Um, the Book of Joy Journal. The only thing I don't understand is what are you journaling about? The joy of your day? So I'm going to look online and see again, like, what do people journal about? Because I used to journal as a girl, but I stopped journaling. The Book of Joy Journal. So that's what I'm thinking of, like, plus I didn't read any of this, so I don't even know what it's saying. You know, like, I didn't get to read the Invitation to the Year to a year of joy. So, yeah, so maybe I'll read this first. I love the fact that they gave you inspirational things. You are made from perfection, but you are not yet perfect. You are a masterpiece in the making, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. So those are nice things, like... And then you get into your journaling. It's a very small section, but I think I can make it work. 
And this gives you ideas to journal in your own books, like what you have. And you can make your page like a day on a page and stuff like that. Or even copy what they have. But this is gorgeous. Like, the numbers are so big, you can see them. Um, pages are not numbered, of course. And what else they have here? So everything in blue has a little quote or inspirational. The next one is, you know, if you did not feel fear when you saw a lion over there and you just walked merely by and next to no time there would be no you. The problem is when the fear is exaggerated or when it's provoked by something that is really quite insignificant. Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Then you got the next one. So all of these that I'm reading to, they're all just the journaling pages. So if I skip to the next one, is like because it's just the journaling pages. Stress and anxiety often come from too much expectation and too much ambition. Then when we don't fulfill the expectation or achieve that ambition, we experience frustration. That is so on point. And this is His Holiness the Dalai Lama. This is so on point. I agree with that. We expect it, but if we don't achieve it, we get frustrated. And then, look at that one. To hold down emotions in a controlled environment, as it were, is not wise. I would say go ahead and even maybe shout out your sadness and pain. This can bring you back to normal. It's looking, it's locking them up and pretending they, that they are not there. That causes them to fester and become a wound. Archbishop Desmond Tutu. So I'm not going to read all of them because there's quite a few. There's a lot. But it just shows, like, they're giving you, you know, motivation, things like that. Little quotes that they say. Just, it's a very good book. And then just a journal would be good. And then in a year from now, you can make your own book, like I was saying, and redo the 365 days and see when you look back at day 137 what did you write in comparison to what you're writing the next year that's a pretty good idea I think I'm going to go with but yeah so this is a really good book you have notes in the back which I didn't get to show you yesterday I don't think in 365 days it has another you know, inspirational quote by them and then the back is just blank. And then again, the note pages. So this is like a nice hardcover. It's a spiritual book. It's marked as. But I mean, it's a very good book. It won't be my March, my March, my April book reads because it's not a book to read. But it will be, you know, shown often. I will do like... A little bit of flip throughs to show you that I've been using this book and things like that. So this will be in a future videos, just not as an April book read. This one will be. The next book is The Quick. And again, these are all from Dollar Tree. Like, really? These are all from Dollar Tree. So it's called The Quick. It's a novel. And it's a suspenseful, glorious, atmospheric first novel and feast of gothic storytelling that is impossible to resist. Kate Atkinson, Atkins, author of Life After Life. What drew me to this is not only this part, but the background of this part. So if you take this away, the background was what drew me to this book. It's by Lauren Owen. Um, look at the spine. And then I don't even know how much this one cost. I'm sure if I take this tag off. Let's see. Because I don't like when they do this. Oh no. If I take it off, it's going to tear. So let's just leave it on. 
So this is the back of the book. It's a seamless blend of Victorian London and rich imagination. Wow. Tiana French, author of In the Woods. A good old-fashioned vampire novel. What fun. So it's a vampire novel. Oh, that would make sense. A cracking good read. Owen takes the gothic conventions of vampire novel in a refreshing new direction. Deborah Hark Harkness, author of the Souls Trilogy. Oh, that would sound good, the Soul Trilogy. So this one was an uh, the New York Times book review, Editor's Choice. The next uh, one is The Quick is the... Uh, I can't speak. The Quick is that rare book that reviewers and readers live for. Both plot and character driven, a stay up all night reading. Oh, Jesus. Really? <laughs> That'll probably be me. This is elegant, witty, force of nature writing. The Dallas Morning News. Oh, wow. I'm going to be up all night. Please pray for me. I tend to like binge watch or a lot of my things I do at night. Like, a lot. So then you have the praise of the quick. So a lot of people talking about it. And then even more. Like, this is a lot of reviews. Like, look at this. When they said the praise, they really did. Uh, the quick. The parts I don't know are what the red are. So if you understand what the... Let me show you this real quick. Because I've noticed this. On the looking glass, it does not have it. So it's just like a regular book, I guess. What does the black dot mean and the red stripe? I see these on a lot of uh, books that I own from Dollar Tree and other places. So I don't know what that means. But this is like, this looks like it's going to be a long read. But then some pages look easily. Like, of course those, but like, here. So, this is a vampire book. I like where it says part two. So, things like this is going to take some time. I will probably put this in the April reads. My April, you know, books to read. But I don't know if I'll be able to finish it in April. Because, again, I fall asleep when I read. So, that is my problem. So, I probably have to... Have TVs on and all that just to read this book. But look at how many pages this book has. Jesus. And then in the back of this book, which I'm just flipping through and I do apologize, is the acknowledgments. And then the quick reader's guide. A conversation between Leev Crossman and Lauren Owen. Sorry, the video cut out on me. Um, I was just finishing up on this one with the conversations. They have questions in the back that they ask you about. Like, why write vampires? And then they have, like, I was saying questions and topics and discussions. For discussions. So, again, this will possibly be one of my April reads. But I know this one for sure. This one's just a book to, you know, journal in. So please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share with your family and friends. As always, thank you for watching. And just a little reminder, you'll be seeing these books multiple times. One flipping through, you know, me journaling every day. I don't know if I would start it this month or in May. Only because this month's already started. And I don't want to jump into something... And then skip around. I want to do the whole year. So I don't know if I'll start it in May. Or because I already would miss. At least three days of. You know journaling. So it'll probably most likely be May. When I start it. And finish it in May. Of next year. For the book of joy. This one will definitely be an April read. And this one is a possible. Because I may have to pick up other books. That I have. And start reading those. So again, I'm going to do a Faith April read and a like books like this for April. So that it's mixed in. They're not together. 
because I don't want Faith to be with vampires, things like that. So again, thank you for watching, and please hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Hit that subscribe button so you can be subscribed to this video. I would greatly appreciate it, and if you could leave a comment. Thank you for everyone that has been leaving comments. I love all your comments. Um, these guys are all, you know, great. Love y'all. Again, thank you for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.